Today is all about brown sugar. I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own brown sugar with just two simple ingredients right in your own kitchen in less than five minutes. Then I'll show you how to take that brown sugar and store it so that it never goes hard. So you can have perfect brown sugar on hand all the time. I'll also be sharing a few tips about the science of brown sugar and how it affects your baking in this video. My name is Tessa and I'm from HandleTheHeat.com where I love to share homemade baking recipes and brown sugar is one of my favorite sugars. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in my mixing bowl, I have one cup of granulated sugar and I'm just going to add one tablespoon of unsulfured molasses. Now, if you wanna make light brown sugar, one tablespoon is plenty. If you wanna do dark brown sugar, you'll need two to three tablespoons of molasses. The next step is just to stir this all together. I like to use an electric mixer because it makes it super quick and easy. All right, so our homemade brown sugar is all ready to use. You can use it in any recipe, or you can go ahead and store it for future use. I always like to store my brown sugar, whether it be homemade or store-bought, in one of these airtight containers where you can pop the lid on and off and it creates a vacuum seal. That will help keep the brown sugar nice and fresh and soft for longer. However, if you notice that your brown sugar gets hard easily, or if you already have hard brown sugar in your pantry, you can go ahead and use one of my favorite little goodies, this terracotta brown sugar saver. All you have to do is soak it for 15 minutes in water and then add it into your brown sugar container. It will help keep your brown sugar soft for up to three months and then you can just re-soak it and add it back in and it will keep it soft for another three months. Now, if your brown sugar has already hardened, not to worry, you can add in the soaked terracotta stone and give it about 24 hours and it will soften your brown sugar right up. Now you can also use a piece of bread as the same type of technique, it just won't last quite as long. Now a little bit about the science behind brown sugar. Brown sugar is actually one of my favorite sugars. The molasses that's added into brown sugar, whether it be homemade or store bought, helps to give it an extra complex layer of sweetness and additional moisture. Now, an interesting tidbit is that molasses is actually a byproduct of regular sugar production. And so we're just adding that back in to get this beautifully moist and flavorful sugar. Now, when you're adding brown sugar to recipes like cookies or brownies, the brown sugar will not only give that kind of more complex sweet flavor, it will also add extra moistness and it will create a more tender texture. And that's because the molasses and brown sugar as a whole actually attracts more moisture than granulated sugar. So it's a really good tip if you want extra tender and moist baked goods. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you might also like my video for how to make your own powdered sugar right at home, which is perfect for when you're in a pinch. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next time. Be sure to check out my site, handletheheat.com, for tons of baking recipes and tips, and I'll see you in another video soon.